Oh, hey, you guys. Welcome to a very special 3 a.m. weekday episode of Justin's Charcuterie World. I'll spare you the details, but basically, about a year ago, I got really into the world of craft beer. And, uh... I'm paying for it. I'm paying the price. So, long story short, uh, it's Thursday night, and all I have eaten this week is bags of this stuff. And I'm losing weight, but at what cost? I'm miserably hungry, and I need something solid. You know what? This wildly good promise isn't going to be enough. It's not going to cut it. I need something better. Something bigger. Maybe some fried herring in spicy marinade all the way from Germany. Let's check it out. What better time than a moment of extreme hunger to try out something as interesting as this massive can of fried, not cooked in the tin, mind you, herring. The moment I saw this on the shelf, I was blown away and I knew it was gonna get its whole own episode of Justin's Charcuterie World. Wow, fried herring in spicy marinade. I can't uh, read any other language than English, but I'm not even gonna try with this German stuff. Right away, the second syllable, I'm already lost. So this is 500 grams. That's a lot. That's a lot of weight. That's 17.64 ounces. Uh, editing Justin will put the weight in pounds right here. Rugenfish. This is gonna throw me off my rhythm with my diet a little bit, but dude, you don't know what it's like to eat just a powdered liquid diet for four days straight. It's miserable. So we're gonna, we're gonna fix that problem with some herring, some clupia harungus, uh, water, onions, wheat flour, distilled vinegar, sugar, rapeseed oil, tomato paste, salt, seasoning, which contains gluten, Juniper berry and uh, all those sciency things, you know, that tend to be in food. There might be traces of mustard, egg, celery, soy, and milk. So if you're allergic to any of that stuff, especially celery, I hear that's a scary one. Uh, steer clear of the old Rugen fish fried herring in spicy marinade. I'm starving, so let's get to it. Okay. Do you guys know what, uh, do you guys know what iDubs would say in this situation? A m -m -m money shot. Oh my God. Look at those beasts. I didn't angle this camera for optimal fish viewing, but Ah, uh, I'm you're just gonna have to trust me. Mmm. 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 There is a flavor in that sauce. I've never been more excited in my days. This is how I straighten my sticks. Look at the size of this.
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? This baby has some scales on her, some fins. I'm gonna drop it any second. All kinds of stuff on here. It's very bubbly looking. You can definitely see that it's fried. Do you ever um? Do you ever get something fried and then like it's in like a styrofoam container? and it kind of like steams itself from its own heat and then like you get it home and it's like mushy. That's what it looks like. It feels a little, it feels a little wetter than that, but I'm so excited. I can't, I can't talk about it anymore. Dude. Oh, man. No joke. This is absolutely insane. Holy cow. I feel like that keychain from Seinfeld right now. Holy cow. So there's a lot of crunchy bone action going on in here. But that marinade, dude. That's the that's the pinnacle of flavor. It's not spicy. Maybe they don't, you know, really dabble in spicy in Germany, but I would I would categorize it as tangy. It's kind of like ketchupy in flavor but not consistency but like with vinegar in it, like a spicy vinegar. Mmm. This is perking me right up. Dude, this is great. I'm not sure I understand the purpose of frying it first. Because when, like, frying is supposed to be it's all about the crispiness when you fry something. That's the, like, important part of it. But if you're gonna fry something and then right away drop it into a bucket of vinegary ketchup, then you just lose that crispy quality. So I don't really get that, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe they tried it by boiling it or whatever and it was no good. Ooh, it's so flavorful, dude. You see that? That's the spinal cord. That's kind of interesting, right? Mm. If I'm honest, this is a lot of food for one man. I think you're meant to make this like a family meal, you know? Oof, my hand's getting tired. Yeah, Rugen fish herring, fried herring. Two thumbs way up. I think this is right underneath the spiced Gonsalves sardines. Maybe equal. I think it's on the same level. Wow, the Germans sure know how to can a piece of fish. So if you're ever kicking around an international market or whatever, definitely check out the German section for anything made by Rugen fish. I know I will. All right, now that I've got a belly full of herring, I'm gonna try to get some sleep. Take it easy. <laughs>